I've been very interested recently in seeing that uh, it's been suggested that it might be possible to grow mosses on Mars, and particularly a moss I'm interested in. Uh, but first of all, here are some details on the Martian atmosphere compared with Earth's atmosphere. Mars contains a huge amount of CO2, 95%, and very little oxygen, and the pressure is very low at 6.3 millibars. On Earth, the oxygen level is 21%, uh, the CO2 level is 0.04%, and the atmospheric pressure is 1,000 millibars. This is Centricia caninervis. And even though Centricia is very tolerant of extreme conditions, it is unlikely to be able to, to survive the high levels of CO2 uh, on Mars um, and I don't think this is really be considered you could grow potentially um, uh, Centricia if it was just dependent on water this moss can tolerate low levels of water but even on Earth you regularly have the humidity at 40% even if the plant isn't hydrated and uh, here I'm showing what it's like if you hydrate this Centricia moss and we'll see that it does take water out of the atmosphere very quickly. This moss has been on my windowsill as part of a bio crust uh, that I extracted a couple of months ago. And I've just let it dry and certainly it will tolerate extremely dry conditions for very long. But as I say, the atmosphere does re remain humid. And you can rapidly hydrate this moss by spraying it. And as we uh, look at it, we'll just see how uh, the moss does spring back to life in the little rosette, star-shaped rosettes that uh, start appearing. And the green colour appears again quite quickly. So it's always interesting to see how the moss does survive for so long, many years without water, and then it can take water out of uh, the atmosphere quite quickly with the awns that are on the ends of the leaves. And as you can see, it is starting to rehydrate again, and you can see the green coming back into the leaf here. And um, the little rosettes are forming. However, I do feel that the conditions on Mars of very high CO2 and low water would prevent it from growing effectively. Um, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I think CO2 is going to be the big problem. CO2 toxicity towards Centricia. Thanks for watching.